Okay guys, for t today's drawing on page 9.4 uh, it's for a helix again and it reads the top view of a square spring so that's our first key there, it's a square spring showing the starting position uh, the direction is left hand but it can also be referred to as anti-clockwise or left round so please take note of the synonyms uh, it's two rotations or two turns uh, it can also be called revolutions uh, then the spring profile is a square that's 12 by 12 millimeters and the pitch is 48 now going to the diagram itself you can clearly see that the maximum diameter is 78 and the minimum is 54 so there's actually no shaft here in the middle so, okay so it's actually hollow uh, and then it rotates around the center uh, now before we can actually do that you'll see that on the diagram there's no height given so you actually have to calculate so this one is different than the one from before okay so when you have to calculate the height so if we go back here you can see that the pitch is 48 now what is pitch pitch is the distance that a loci point will move up or move sideways as it rotates around once okay so the pitch is always equal to 12 divisions so since they're saying that the there are two turns okay that means you are going to have two of these so you're gonna have a 48 on top of a 48 and then you also have to add the profile height which is 12 and that will give you the total height so 2 times 48 plus 12 will give you the 108 that you're going to need okay so that is how you determine the total height when the height isn't given so the previous exercise was given here it is not given so if we actually go to the formulas that we have okay um, so the pitch there it reads clearly that the pitch is the distance that the loci would travel along the length of a helix after one revolution okay so it will end up on the same side if it starts on the right side at the bottom let's say and it rotates once or turns once it will end up on a higher level after turning once around the shaft okay or axes then the pitch always equals 12 that's a rule set in stone okay so the total height here I wrote it out in formula as the pitch multiplied by the revolutions okay or rotations or turns plus the profile height whatever the profile height is and I would say most of the time the profile itself is three divisions okay so if we add that is 48 times 2 plus 12 when we get 108 so there's the total height of 108 okay so please try and you have to write this information on your page as well um, copy this down and make sure that you study that formula so that if the height's not given then you can calculate then the total divisions very easy you take the total height but before you do that you take the pitch which is 48 millimeters which is effectively uh, one rotation height okay which is 48 you divide that by 12 because uh, one rotation also equals 12 divisions so the 48 divided by 12 uh, gives you 4 okay so if I take that 4 and I divide it into the 108, the total height that you get there, then you get a total of 27 divisions. And those are the two key bits of information. Without this, you cannot do it. So this is the key of the entire drawing. So 108 divided by 27 divisions on the drawing itself. Okay. Now to start, we're actually going to be drawing a top view this time. Okay. So going to the top, you can see that it's 27 and 39. Uh, so set your compass to those two. Okay, then after you've drawn this solid, you'll see this little line here on the right side. That is to show you where it actually starts. So this is the normal top view, and that's the starting location of the thread itself. Okay, so then you're going to actually go and draw the full block for the front view, and you can see the diameter 78 and the height 108. Okay, then after that, you're going to add your center as normal, and then you're going to do the, do the divisions. Um, and just to recap, Remember guys, you draw a line at any length, at any angle, you mark down any distance on there, as long as they're the same. I don't even measure that. I take my compass, I move it open a little bit, and I just keep marking the points on the line, 27 of them. Please take note, that's zero. So that's one, two, three, not one, two, three. Okay, so this is zero, not one. That's one. And this point is number 27. You draw that line. You put your set square on that line, put a ruler underneath and you just shift down your set square and you draw the other lines and then you can draw them, draw them across to your front view. Okay, so there you can 
basically see the grid forming so if I go back to the top view you also have to divide your top view into its different parts both the minimum and the maximum diameter so if we go you can see I've made it different colors so the maximum is green and the minimum will be pink and that will become important later on as well then you take the maximum down and don't forget that the center counts as that as well so now you can see that you actually have this grid and that's what you're going to need to be able to plot your points so we're going to start with these two maximum points the one at the top there and the one below three blocks down okay so those are the two maximum loci points that we're going to do there's the two minimums but we're going to do these two first so in order to plot them let's say we start with that one you just start and then you go down and left down and left and down and left and you keep doing that and go down a level on the grid until you end there on this one and that's obviously the 24th level okay then you do the second loci point as well and you can see it ends there okay so that will actually end on number 27 and there's the maximum loci points going around now obviously you want to lightly connect those with your pencil you're not going to do it dark yet but you do want to connect them with light lights okay uh, so after that now why did I draw this solid now remember that it starts here at the top they tell you it starts at the on the right side and the top and that it goes left round or left handed okay but if we follow it down it goes half rotation one rotation one and a half rotations two rotations so you could also argue that it starts here it doesn't actually matter from which side you draw it so if it starts here at the bottom right and it goes left round okay then this will be solid why because a, f a left and a right combination is solid first so if you start on the left and we go right round like here it would have been solid first if we start on the right at the bottom and I'm emphasizing the bottom here and you go right so a left right combination then it's solid first then it's behind and then it's solid first so this you can safely draw solid immediately after that we're going to do the minimum you can see the purple lines going down so there's one two three four five six seven of them okay because the the back ones are in line with it and then you can again see the points that we're going to plot so I'm going to do both at the same time so you can see the purple ones they're running here going round 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 okay and you do want to connect them but before I do that I'm just going to take these sides from the maximum because I know that's those are the outlines nothing is beyond that so I know it's safe to draw them solid as well okay so you want to do as much as you can solid you can actually start seeing the object okay because if you try and just if you just plot all the points it's a bit of a nightmare to be able to visualize what it will look like so there's no, no points beyond that point so I'm going to draw that solid the same with this one this one and this one okay then you want to connect with the light construction lights you want to connect the purple points with other words the minimum diameter logo points okay and now you can more or less see what it's going to look like okay because if you go to the bottom here you can actually see the underside of this curve you can actually see that underside which means for this first part you see the bottom then the next part you see the top then the next part you see the bottom so if you're seeing the bottom here then this is not going to be drawn solid this will be drawn solid so it's bottom then the top that you're going to see then the bottom that you're going to see then the top that you're going to see and then that bottom there that you're going to see and once you know that you can actually just go and start and you make it solid and then you are done okay uh, so last but not least you do want to just finish the drawing by making that solid on the corner and then of course because we can see this face side it has been cut there so you have to add some hatching as well and last note please 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 label the view so this will be the top view and that one will be the front view okay and that's it see you guys later